And here we go, warm up number one. So this one is actually not live yet. Players will have one and a half minutes to get uh, familiar with the map a little bit. Just uh, get back into the groove of the map. And uh, we've seen this map a couple of times already. It's called Halfpipe by Kisla. And uh, Halfpipe, uh, the reason why it's called that is, uh, well, the identity section, which is uh, a bunch of Halfpipes. So we'll go Tony Hawk Pro Skater in, uh, <laughs> in the end of the map. So yeah, players warming up a little bit in about one minute, uh, the actual match is going to start. Bran already circling a little bit in this section. Oh, really important jump here, you want to get as lo little airtime as possible. And then, one of the really important parts about this map is coming up right now. You want to go a little bit outside to get about 222 speed, like spam exactly got right there. To make sure that you get this double jump, because if you feel this one, oof. It's gonna cost you a lot of time and you do not you, most people will not be able to catch it back up to first place after a mistake there on those dirt jumps so you want to get this six out of six for the 20 pointer all right and here we go into the identity section what you want to do here is jump as low as possible as little airtime as possible and that way you have a high amount of speed a low amount of time wasted up in the air and actually spam taking about the best out of everyone actually ends up being number one out of the warm-up all right and here we go we are live step number three of the tmgl we have started on map number one half pipe we are about six seconds in right now and spam is already in the lead number one on this car even though that will probably be removed here we go top eight more realistic number so far riolo is in the lead but uh, i mean everything is so close the overtakes will happen left and right of course here we go into the first thing. Oh, Avon with the first mistake out of this step. He actually takes a lot of airtime right there. And uh, he will slow down quite a bit. Avon not for the best start in this step so far. Luckily for him though, no point lost is yet engaged. So that should be fine. And uh, here we go. Actually in the corners, you guys, you can see the number one. The player that is a number one will have his face displayed in the corners. This time around, it is Riolo. So you guys can see what he looks like in real life. And... Uh, so far, so good for Spam, who is currently in 6th place. And here we go into the Durps jumps. Does he get enough speed? Yes, he does. 222, which is a really nice number. And actually, Tween does not get enough speed. Tween with the first mistake on these dirt jumps. And Spam is taking advantage of this one. Already, actually, in top 4 so far. We are, our Alliance player is doing a good job on this step 1. Is going for the overtake on Gwen, although he clips it a little bit. That's going to cost him a, a tiny bit of time. Not as much uh, to uh, lose his third position, though. As he is still in the top 3. Riolo and Massa still ahead of him. Although here comes the Overtakers. Orel popping it. Hello. Massa. Where you at boys? Massa with the first mistake already in lap 1. And who is number 1 boys? It is Spam with the best lap so far. Spam is number 1. Ooh. Orel is actually really fast. Orel is creeping in. Orel not with a lot of points so far. In step 1 and step 2. He is looking to get some points in this step. And it's already on his way to a nice amount of points. Gwen already in the mix as well. Although Spam is still in that... Well, I'd say number one. It's really close though. Aurel right now in the lead. It is a really close battle for first place. Between Spam and the French player Aurel right now. Aurel you can see in the corner. And maybe in the next checkpoint. Ooh, no, Aurel is still first. But the battle is still on. It's about one hundredth of a second right now between these two players. Oh, Spam has a really nice low jump. And this is going to go... He's going to go for the attack right now. A little bit of a worse line, so Aurel uh, overtakes once again, but it is incredibly close between these two players. Like, what is going on? Spam slowing down a little bit. Oh, but he doesn't make the jump! He does not make the jump, he actually clips it, and that is gonna be GG for first place. Can I get an F in the chat? Spam is all the way into 11th in one instant, and that is gonna be a Yikers and a half right there. Oof. Luckily though, no points loss has been engaged. We are only in lap 2, so with a good pace of spam, maybe can get some uh, points back. But yeah, I think uh, the dream of number 120 pointer here, it kind of sails right now. But um, hey, maybe spam can catch up to some players at least. Let's see actually who is still in the lead. Actually Gwen, wow. Gwen with a really good must have been identity section because he's already half a second ahead of Aurel. And what about the people behind them? Back looking good. Carl Jr. as well. Afi now in the mix as well. Afi one of the new players. Oh, but the caster's curse. Well, 
uh, here you go. This is one player spam will probably be able to overtake. Oh my god, look at how much time spam actually lost with that respawn. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Oh, you feel the pain? Do you feel the pain? Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, that feels bad. Afi with the respawn right there. Losing way more time. And now Spam, at least in this in the top 10. And the gap is incredibly close between him and Avon. So, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna focus a little bit here on what is going on in the lead of the field. Where the battle is still incredibly close. Gwen has taken the lead, but Orel still in second place. Back actually going for the nose slide. He is closing in a little bit on Orel because of that. But it is not enough yet to go for the overtake. Identity section number three coming in. Gwen still in the lead. Orel second and Pack is in third. Here we go. Orel actually slowing down a little bit. This might be an opinion. Oh, Orel actually clipping the wall. Orel clips the wall. He's going to slow down quite a bit. He will not make... Well, I, I mean, it kind of makes the last jump here. But definitely a lot of time lost. And now Pack is able to get into second place. Carl Jr. is now in the top three as well. Kappa has sneaked up to fourth position. Now Bran is also looking quite well for the top five. Where is Spam? Spam is actually closing in. In the meantime, on Avon, the gap is only two seconds right now. So Spam is on a better pace than his opponents. And is able to close in a little bit. Hopefully, before the end of the match, he will get close enough to maybe go for the overtake on Avon. But that's going to be quite a hard task. It is still about two seconds. In the meantime, though, we have Gwen in the lead. Back in second place, Carl Jr. is still third. Here we go, into the jump. Actually, Carl with a really beautiful uh, jump right there. Takes a nice amount of speed out of this one. And is still looking to stay in that top three. Is Brent close? Is Kappa close? Well, they are decently close. Although the gap between all of them is quite big. Everybody does seem to make it. Let's see if Spam makes the dirt jumps this time around. He does so indeed. A nice dirt jump by him. And uh, he will continue to do quite well pace-wise. But yeah, I mean, the gap is really big. Hopefully for Spam at least, he at least holds on to 10th place. Scrappy right now is not even close to him. So uh, yeah, it is... Oh my god, but the battle in identity is on. Gwen goes for the low jump. You guys, what an incredible risk by Gwen. He is has nerves of steel here in the top one position. Going for the 20 points. All as well as having the fastest lap. 122.31 by Gwen is the fastest lap so far. Carl Jr. with the fastest lap this time around, though. And, uh, oh, Pack is closing in on Carl Jr. a little bit, though. The second place is all but closed. Here he goes, actually. Pack with a little bit more speed. Oh, but the low jump. What a risk here by the English player. And he's gonna go for the overtake on Carl Jr. The Canadian is left in the dust here by Pack, who is now getting into second place. Gwen is still looking really strong on this map. In first place still. Spam right now. 8 seconds behind, Gwen is still quite far behind, Scrappy is also still quite far behind. So we're gonna go back to first place, or like second place in this case, to uh, get an overview for the first place battle. It is still Gwen in first, Kappa is about half a second behind Carl Jr. So we have the train that is uh, keeps on going here. Nobody seems to go for the nose light this time around, so the nothing really uh, that big is gonna happen maybe in the identity let's follow pack coming into this one we have a good overview here of place number one and place number two gwen once again is going for a nice couple of low jumps here in the identity section and he does make one another nice identity once again carl jr trying to keep up with pack but it is not enough pack still in second place where is spam spam another nice identity for him he does make it but once again not really closing in on avon here so we will go back to top three once again where the battle is all between pack and carl jr is incredibly close pack takes a nice amount of speed on this idea about a little uh, 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 there we go words are hard but pack is in the lead that's what is what i wanted to say actually both carl jr and, and uh, pack right now Closing in more and more to Gwen. And I think they are putting on the heat right now. They're turning up the heat. It's about half a second. 0.4 seconds left between Pack and Gwen right now. And Carl Jr. is also quite close by. Gwen must be sweating right now. The, the 20 points is not locked in yet. Carl Jr. taking a little bit safer. Taking more speed. Everybody seems to make it in this time around. Yeah, he does so indeed. Gwen still in the lead. But it is only about... Per 0.4 here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Pack it needs to step on the gas right now to try and get 20 points. But Gwen does look really strong here. Gwen looking strong. Uh, half a second ahead. Into the last identity section we go. 20 points for Gwen. Overall Pack snipe the win here. 
First jump, quite well done by the French player. Another good jump by Gwen here. Another good jump by Gwen. And I think he's gonna lock in a nice 20 pointer. Deserved win for Gwen here. And he gets the 20 points. Spam is in the last identity section. He was not able to go for any overtakes, although he did close in on Rilovu and Evan. That mistake on the dirt, double dirt jumps did cost him just a lot of time, and there's no way you catch up from that. So sadly for Spam, only 10th place. But hey, you know, not it's not, you know, like you're still driving because you're 30 seconds behind. You know, at least you got that going for you. Alright, so here we go. We conclude map number one. Gwen with 22 points because he gets 20 points of being first. And another two points because he got the fastest lap. A better start you cannot imagine. Gwen is just popping off on this map number one. Look, but okay, hey, the step is not over. Spam still in top nine. Wait, actually, well, Riolo and Spam both equal amount of points right now. Don't forget to pop the ghost spams in chat. We want to see four hearts on the scoreboard at least, guys. If you type ghost spam in chat, he will get more votes. And the more votes he has, the more hearts he has on that scoreboard. All right, we go into the warm-up. So not really live, guys, but the warm-up of Switch Bridge. Which is another map we've seen a couple of times already. Actually, all three of the steps so far. And this will be the last step we see this map. And uh, last time around, on step one, this was actually the first or the last map and so map six the really important one where the point loss is cranked up to a wall 100 this time around though no point loss yet as we are still only in map number two we are currently warming up a little bit important jump here where you want to jump as low as possible but high enough so this what just happened to span doesn't happen luckily though this is only a warm up but yeah uh not boating too well here and then we have a dirt section coming up here. Spam uh, trying to keep up with Papu. And now we're coming closer and closer to the identity. And the identity here is... Uh, what is really important here is you jump as low as possible to be between these two poles. Then once again as low as possible between those two. And then you will want to go around. Keep the gear. And then we have to finish. So it might look quite easy here. But the low jump is quite risky. You got to be really, really precise. And that's six times in a row. Which can be quite hard. So hopefully for Spam. He can do it this time around. And get a nice amount of points on the scoreboard. For him going into map number three. Let's start. End of our map. Opening phase is starting. We are going to go into map number two. Switch bridge. And uh, yeah. Let's go. Afi taking the lead so far. With the best number one spot. Right, not that good of an ice section here by spam, but uh, you know, the gap is not that close yet. Aurel jumping really far and wide, and that's gonna cost them some time. Massa right now in first place. Spam has a good uh, low jump here, is gonna overtake a couple of people. It looks like he's about uh, number nine here so far at the start of the race, but he does have a little bit more speed than his opponent, so it's catching up a little bit here. Right now in the lead, we have Tween. Gwen is in second. Matt right now in third place. Matt, we've not seen a lot of him, so hopefully he can do well on this map. Okay. Here we go. Nice section by Spam. Look at this. The speed he gets because of his low jump. He's going to go for some overtakes here. And he is looking good already in map number one. Afi slowing down quite a bit as well. <coughs> Spam really aggressive here. Is going to, looking for some more overtakes on Matt and Papu. But it's not happening yet. Gwen once again in the lead. And so far so good for Gwen here. He is performing really well in this step. Quite incredible. Oh! And here we go. Yep, Paul. What a huge mistake here. I think it was... Um, actually, I didn't really catch it. Was it Yannex? Anyway. Oh, no. It must have been Matt because Matt is super far behind. So, it was indeed Matt crashing right there. So, uh, yikers for the Brazilian player. But Spam right now in top 4 or 5-ish. As uh, a lot of players are overtaking. Oh my god, Gwen with a mistake. He's going to slow down quite a bit here, but not that much. He, can, he will not lose that much speed. He is still in the mix for the top positions. But he is losing some time here. Spam is also able to overtake the young French player. Right now with Tween in the lead. Tween from Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Knights. Oh my god, I forgot the name for some reason. But here we go into the dirt. 
And into the jump. Is Fan gonna go for another one of those beautiful low jumps? Indeed, he does. See you later, Papu, who has to release because of a bad approach. And now Spam is going for the attack on Kappa as well. What an incredible line here by Spam, who is consistently able to go for the overtakes. But, whoa, I wanted to say this is an easy overtake on Tween. But no, it's not because Fan makes a mistake himself. Spam makes a huge mistake right there. And he's going to lose a bunch of speed. It is not over yet. It is not an 8 second mistake. But this is going to cost him a lot of positions. Oh! Kappa has, is done. Kappa needs to go for the respawn. And that means Spam is able to overtake him once again. And now the battle is on between Spam and Yannick for top 8. Back with the best lap so far. And he is not in first place. Gwen is actually back into the number 1 position. Oh, never mind. After the... Uh, after the ice section, Pack is now in first place. Ooh, really shaky line here by Spam. He somehow is able to uh, survive it, but uh, that was quite shaky. This is going to be a good, a good speed for him at least. Not going to go for any overtakes here. Still in the top 9 position. Pretty middle of the pack here for the Dutch player Spam so far, but... Uh, you know, we are only in, in lap 3 out of 6. And the gap is not that big. If you have a good line and you have a good amount of speed... You are going to go for some overtakes here. Bran is listening to my advice right now. And is actually going to go for the overtake on spam. Oh, but it's so... The players are risking. The players are pushing as hard as uh, possible. Because, of course, no points lost here. And you want to go for the 20 point there. Get as much points as possible on the scoreboard. Right now, Spam has a nice low jump. Going for some overtakes on Yannex already. Bren is also being left behind. Now, Evan is the next target. Oh, a little bit of a shaky line. But Spam is going to able, be able to survive here. Evan going quite wide. Maybe this is the opportunity for Spam to go for the overtake. Here he goes indeed on the star block. It is not enough yet. But Spam comes quite a bit closer here on this ice section. Carl Jr. with the best lap so far. And now, Pack is still in the lead. Carl Jr. is second. Papu is in third. Aurel is fourth. Riolo is looking good here. As we do see Afi and Avon biting the dust compared to Spam. He is going for some nice, nice overtakes. He's top six right now. Avon still, the secret player is still in the battle with Spam, though. It's not over yet. The gap between Spam and Aurel is quite big. So, it's not. Uh, that is going to be quite hard to catch up to. But maybe with some god tier line, Spam can come closer and closer to one of those players. Riolo looking good. Papu looking good as well. As we have Pack and Carl Jr. to titans of the game both world champions former world champions of this game and uh, they are once again sh shining in this tmgl step avon has not is not done yet and what an incredible dirt section by avon i gotta give him to him that's a nice amount of speed now spam is actually coming closer and closer and does go for the overtake on this one because avon had a little bit of a wonky line identity coming oh my god spam goes so close to the the poles and he is risking it he is definitely risking it Sp pack right now has made some kind of mistake because spam is coming closer and closer now aurel is also in the crosshairs of spam the, of the alliance player and here we go onto the ice Spam is going to say bye bye to Pack at least, but Aurel also maybe. No, not yet. It is so incredibly close. Riolu, what are you doing, Riolu? Riolu actually went right into the wall. That's an easy overtake for Spam. Hello, Papu is gone. Papu with the respawn. He made a huge mistake. And now Spam suddenly in top three, you guys. Bronze medalist Spam once again. And he is now already on top three. And Pack is also incredibly close. Carl Jr., gotta be honest, he's quite far away in lap five at the six. But Spam is doing a hell of a good job right now. Catching up all the way back from ninth position. And now he's already in third. An incredible pace here by Spam, who is now actually looking to go for the overtake on Pack. Is it gonna be enough here in the dirt? No, he takes a little bit of airtime. And that's not gonna be enough at all. Aurel now coming closer and closer to Spam. It is so incredibly close on this end part of the map here we go into the identity section decent jump here by spam but it's not too high and aurel is actually taking advantage of it he is going for the full risk and you can see it paying off right now back actually slowing down a little bit and it's so incredibly close for the top two plays aurel pack and spam are so close together oh but a really nice drift here by spam the tech master goes into the dirt with an oh uh, sorry the ice with a nice amount of speed but it's not enough yet to go for the overtake on aurel or pack here we go into the jump who takes it the best it does look like Spam is the one who gets into second place, you guys. Spam overtakes Pack and uh, and Aurel at the same time. Now Pack is looking go to go for the overtake again, but it's not enough. Spam is at basically equal speed with him right now. Spam is in second place, but this is so incredibly close, and he needs to push it because otherwise Pack is definitely gonna yoink the second place from him. Carl Jr. is still looking really good here with about a second lead. It's going to be hard to catch up unless he makes any kind of user check. Pack is dead! Oh my god, Pack went for the full risk, but he doesn't make it. Pack is gone. 
Where is Aurel? Aurel is about half a second behind Spam right now. And he is looking really good for the second place. And maybe, maybe, just maybe first. But it's going to be really hard. Carl Jr. has to make some kind of mistake here in the end. Actually, Aurel with an insane amount of speed. No way. Aurel is going to go for the overtake on Spam. It is not over yet. But Aurel has so much more speed. He does look really strong here for second place. And Spam has to give way here for the French player. But you know what? Third place is not bad at all. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He almost sniped it. Oh, so close, but it is not enough. Aurel actually went for the drift in the end. But hey, you know what? Third place. Clap in the chat. Span takes third place. Not bad at all. Winners here are definitely Carl Jr. Who uh, has just a 20-pointer. Bren... Wait, Gwen here actually ends up being in 12th position. Even though he had the fastest lap. He must have made a couple of mistakes throughout the map. Sadly for him. Luckily though, though for him. Not, no points lost yet. So the 22 points that he gained in the first map. Definitely still on the scoreboard. Spam climbing up to 6th position right now. And uh, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Alright, map number 3. Man, you guys, I gotta take a little bit of a breather right here because the, the battle was so close I had to go full ham on the cast. <laughs> yeah, indeed, guys. I need to hydrate a little bit. Give me a second here while, uh, while the players are warming up. Jeez. Oh. All right, we are entering warm-up of Starglide. Starglide, of course, has made its debut last week where it was one of the last two maps. But this time around, it is map number 3. And that means that the players who do not get top 8 will lose half of their points that they've gained so far. So the point loss uh, has been turned on right now. And the players will have to focus on at least getting top 8. Of course, you know, number 1 is always nice. But top 8 will be a focal point as well here on this map. Starglight is one of the maps Spam feels quite decent on. And he will perform well, I feel like. Uh, I'm gonna guess here. I mean, it's, it's a complete guess, of course, but I feel like Spam is gonna do well here on this one again. Um, map number four, the map after this, is gonna be a little bit wonky, though, because, of course, as you might have remembered from last time, that is where Spam lost a bunch of points. Look at the amount of spectators around the map, you guys. Every, pe every person, every viewer in this stream and all the other TMGL streams right now is represented as one of the people that are walking around here on well they're standing but hey you know what i mean on the map so you know maybe one of you is standing right there you know maybe those were not the most expensive tickets to be fair but uh, here we have the expensive tickets right around the start you can see gwen zoop by right there all right here we go end of the warm-up we have map number three and remember we'll lose half of the points it says it right here yes indeed we have started and so we're gonna go with a follow all cam here at the start can i get a t-tours in the chat boys we are following everybody right now riolo so far in the lead and uh, he needs to start uh, playing well here actually wait how do i hello Oh, wait, I just have to press this button. You guys, professional caster over here. Here we go. Spam actually looking really good here. Already in top four. And now we have the Belgian player Scrappy, who has not done the, the best job so far in this step. Sh uh, showing off what he can do. Leading the pack right now on map number three. Spam in the red, but hey, it is only lap number one. Oh, mass murdering going on. But uh, you guys, it is all fine. They're only virtual players. All right, here we go. And we are closing in on the identity already. Oh, Peck, what an incredible risk. Takes a lot of time. And here we go. We have the identity section. We got to do this three times. But you want to turn around. Take the reactor boost with as much speed as possible. I feel like uh, Masa just died. Was it Masa? Yeah, Masa and Matt already with the mistakes. Masa and Matt were not able to complete the identity without any mistakes and they will lose already quite a bit of time. Masa are already 10 seconds behind and he's about to lose 2 points because 50% of 4 is of course 2 points. Masa no a lot looking too good here in this step so far but maybe he can step it up later on. We know of course that Masa has a really fast so uh, hopefully he can get back into it later on. Spam still in the green positions but it is quite... Um sweaty here as he is quite close to the cutoff point of the top eight 
Actually, he's right on the cutoff point right now. Top 8 for Spam. Scrappy still in the lead, although Gwen and Bren. Matt? Matt is chilling. But uh, Spam right now is still in the top 8. Actually, top 9 right now. It is so incredibly close. Bren is in the lead. Scrappy is second. Gwen is third. But oh! That is costing Spam quite a bit of time. And now he needs to start the pedal to the metal, you guys. He needs to start pushing it. Otherwise, the top 8 will be uh, very far. Oh my god. And that is another mistake here by Spam. Ooh. You guys? Spam needs to start risking it right now. He's 13th and he's already about 2 seconds behind top 8. 2 seconds is definitely catch up -able. And catch up you guys, is a word. Trust me. And... Uh, Spam needs to start pushing it right now to try and get back into the top 8. Afi is in the crosshairs, although he's quite uh, a bit of uh, time ahead of him right now. And Spam, he needs to start risking. He has the pace to get back into the top 8. I do feel like that's the case, but we do maybe if he gets lucky, we see some mistakes here by some people. And he can go for some overtakes here and there. But yeah, third in place is not looking too good here for Spam. In the meantime though, you get, what is this? Hello? The battle for first is between first and top six is two tenths of a second? Are you kidding me? It is so incredibly close here in the front between everybody right now. Tween. Oh, Gwen with a little bit of a mistake. Actually, no no speed loss at all. And Tween is looking good here. Peck, Papu, Gwen, Call. I mean, who does the best identity here is going to be the one who is in the lead at the end. Spam in the meantime, by the way, is about 1.7 seconds behind top eight. Let's look at how his identity real quick. Looks good here by Spam. Actually, it goes for the zoop. No, not the best zoop here. But we do see Peck with the mistake. And oh, you guys, Peck. Oh, he has so many points. And he's going to uh, lose half of them, maybe. If, uh, if it's uh, going to go like this. 21 points for him on the score. But actually, not that uh, far ahead of Spam. We have 17. But Spam already with one overtake. And he's coming closer and closer to, to, to the top 8. Remember, he was about two, se two and a half seconds behind last map. Last lap, sorry. And now he's only 1.3 seconds behind. So he's closing in on the top 8 position. It is not over yet. He will be able to catch up if he's going like this. Oh. Alright. Carl Jr. in the lead. Bran in second place. Papu and Tween also looking good. Carl Jr. actually looking really good this step in general. Winning last map and now again in the lead. Spam in the meantime. Around 1.3 seconds behind. Let's see what he does here on the next section. Can he get a nice amount of speed? He's currently in 12th position, closing in more and more. Did I see a mistake there? See, Or was it just a little bit of a visual bug? I, it was a little bit of a visual bug. No mistakes yet. Identity coming up. We can see a nice overview here of the players who Spam needs to go for, for the overtake on. What an incredible close battle. But for the top 8, the op the, as you can see here on the left side on the scoreboard, there are a bunch of people overtaking each other. Every checkpoint. Because everybody is really close together. Spam is in 10th place and is about 1.5 seconds behind the number 8 player who's currently Yannex. 1.5 seconds and Spam needs to push it because 1.5 seconds is still quite a lot that he needs to catch up in the last two laps of this map. Or, I mean, two players could make a huge mistake. That could also happen, but I do, do not feel like we should bank on any of that. Aurel right now in the danger zone but with about 0.1 seconds behind Yannex. In the meantime, though, we still have Carl Jr. and Papu in first and second. Matt and Massa and Viola when F1 are not looking too good. They are definitely on their way to point loss. And Spam also is definitely in the danger zone here. Actually losing some ground in this lap so far to number 8, who is Kappa. Yanex right now has fallen behind into ninth position. And uh, it's back into ninth now again because Kappa has been overtaken. Alright, into the identity section we go. If we see double mistake here by any of the two players, maybe Spam will be able to go for the overtake. Other than that, Spam really needs to start pushing it right now. He needs to have a good zoop here to try and catch up. Otherwise, this is not going to be enough. This does not look like a good zoop at all. Spam is in the danger zone right now. Tween has slowed down quite a bit here. Tween actually maybe will... Spam will overtake Tween here in this lap. He needs to go for the overtake on Tween and then hope for the best. I mean... Can I get a Spam blast in the chat, you guys? Because we need some luck here. Otherwise, this is not gonna happen. 
The gap is two seconds. Spam is falling further and further behind top eight. Where of course, everybody is pushing it around that place because nobody wants to fall down into the red positions. We got, just got to hope for some mistakes, maybe. Actually, Spam closing in a little bit here. It's only 1.9 seconds, but there's still a lot to try and catch up on in the last lap. Um, the gap between Spam and... Twi oh, yeah. Spam is going for the full-on risk, you guys. He has nothing to lose and everything to gain as we are closing into the last identity section. We just got a spam bless here and hope for the unfortunate mistakes of anybody else. Other than that, spam will probably not get into the top 8 here. Let's follow him. We will see if anybody makes a mistake. It does look like Carl Jr. is the one who is going to take the 20 pointer here. And it does look like nobody makes any huge mistakes. And we're going to see some point loss by spam here, sadly. Luckily though, it is only 50%. It is not the end of the world. But it is Carl Jr. who takes the win here. And Spam gets a sad 10th place. Sad you boys. But there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. But hey, it is not over yet. Don't get your hopes down. It is only a small point loss of about 7 or... Wait. About 8, I guess. Because uh, if it's rounded up or down, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, 8 or 9. We, he currently has 14 points still, which is not too bad. And if he continues to get top 8 throughout the rest of the step, it's going to be a okay, And he's going to still end with a bunch of points. I mean, if you lose points early on in the step, you don't lose that many. So, hey, if you gotta lose points somewhere, let it be map number three. Maybe a little bit worse than this is that Spam's prediction for the first time in three steps is actually wrong. And I don't know how to feel about that. How do you guys feel about it? This is weird, right? It feels weird. Spam actually miss predicting. Right, let's take a quick look at the scoreboard here as we are currently warming up on map number four, hoverboard. Carl Jr. has been popping off this step, 52 points. His former teammate, who right now is of course not Solary anymore, but Bren was Solary back in the day, 30 points for him. Orel, who has uh, not been playing so well in step one and two, and now on 29 points, a good job for him. As we have Papu right now on 23 points. So the French speaking crowd is doing really well in this step so far. And uh, the non-French speaking crowd, well, not so much. But hey, maybe that will change throughout the uh, throughout the rest of the step. Oof, Kappa right there, not the best. Oh, 322 here. Um, so out of this, uh, well, maybe you guys can uh, spectate a little bit because it's always fun to see. Out of the uh, bobsleigh, that's a uh, bobsled uh, section. Let's say, uh, let's call it that. You can get about 330 speed. So if you guys see 330 speed out of the block flat section, you know he is popping off and doing a nice, nice section right there. We of course have seen Muda do this multiple times in his OGL win just yesterday. And uh, hopefully we can see some TMGL players do the same. I am definitely interested. And of course the famous identity section, the nightmare of spam last week. Hopefully this time around, Spam will get lucky and will not get wrecked by the identity this time around. Let's see, as we are going out of the war map into the life, we are on map number 4. Another map where you lose 50% of your points if you get a bottom 8. So hopefully this time around, Spam will... Okay. We have a pause. Um, okay. I don't know what exactly, uh, probably one uh, player has connection issues or something, so we will have a little bit of a break here in start before we're starting out. That gives me some time to take a breather, that gives you some time to hydrate as well. Hopefully you have a snack and a beverage with you. Enjoying the show. Alright, let's watch Spam actually warm up. Let's see what he has of the amount of speed here out of the bobsled section. Ooh, 322. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
Hey guys, can I give you a secret threat? What a lot of players are doing, be quiet about this, okay? But what a lot of players are doing is they are actually looking at their own path overlay to see if they are half steering throughout the whole bobsled section because that's the way you do the fastest bobsled section. They're just looking at their own path overlay to look at their own inputs. Don't tell anybody, okay? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, spam is going for the... Uh, oh, it looks like we're going to start. Otherwise, this uh, seems kind of weird, yeah? Nope. We're still practicing the identity. Let's see if Spam can get a 6 out of 6. We already had one out of 1. Alright, 2 out of 2. Is it 3 out of 3 time? Yes. Spam popping off right now in the identity section. Oh, 4 out of 4. Will we get to 6 out of 6? Oh, this looks funky. No! Four out of five, you guys. Spam going for the slow-mo block. Zoop. Oh, I hope you guys uh, were not standing right there. Right. So, uh... Not really sure what's going on right now. Uh, actually, I do know if I just read the TMGL Discord. Alright, so it seems like Matt currently has some connection issues. And we're trying to get Matt back into the game. So this is why we're waiting for a little bit. Of course, we want to have Matt driving and not uh, AFKing. Which uh, I feel like is a fair comp competitive statement. So we're just pause champing a little bit here for the Brazilian to come back into the game. Alright, let's take a look at the current step uh, ranking while we're waiting. Uh, just to have a quick re-look at it. Carl Jr. right now, really strong. 52 points. We'll also have the rest of the, <laughs> the French crowd doing well. Bren, Aurel and Papu all really strong. Kappa with 23 points, not 5 and 6 map stratting. Looking good for him. Scrappy on 19. Afi and Gwen also doing decent. Gwen, sadly, must have lost his points because uh, he definitely has more la had more last time. And um, let's see, is this updated? Yeah, this is updated. So this would be the league ranking, overall ranking, if the points would end up like this. Of course, the points are going to be different at the end of the step. But if you count these points so far with the current league ranking uh, in, from step one and step two, the leaderboard looks, does look like this. Papu is in a strong lead with 120 points. It's still the only player who is above 100. Peck and Gwen actually looking good. Spam does lose a couple of positions here because uh, not the best start for him is so far. But hey, anything can happen in the last two, three maps. It is not over yet. And uh, this league ranking is definitely going to be a lot different if uh, when we end up at the end of the step. All right, Matt, uh, you okay, buddy? Because, uh, oh, wait, he is in the server, it seems. No, the players do not see the crowds, so don't worry about that. They are, do not get distracted. The same goes, by the way, for... Uh, wait. Can I, I... I don't have a free cam? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. T-Tours. We have Riolu in first. This is also something the players do not see, so don't worry. Um, Riolu is not uh, big brothering over uh, the players. All right, we are live. Yeah. Um, uh oh. Okay. It does. <laughs> for a second there, it looked like we had a slow start, but no, we're fine. 
we are live. We have started again. You guys, the hype, ca hype train can go choo-choo because we have started on map number four, hoverboard. And uh, Riolo in the lead. And uh, he wants his face to stay up on the, uh, on the signs right there. Looking good for him already. Let's turn on the names again. There we go. So we can see who everybody is. Of course, that is... Uh, oh, wow. Peck is so high. Let's see if he takes a lot of speed out of this one. Oh my god, the spam almost went out of it, but he does make it this time around. Uh, uh, luckily, going for the inside line here. Everybody seems to be uh, on their own thing right now. Massa is in the lead. Massa, who has not done so well so far in the step, is now taking first place. The player from Germany for Team Big is uh, looking good in this map so far. Back again in the top with uh, consistently being performing well here in this step again spam in the red so far but it is only lap number one anything can happen especially here in the identity section spam bless in the chat here we go identity one of the six all right looks good yeah all right spam has made it and uh, i don't think anybody uh, actually crashed right there so that is good news for well, uh, everybody spam actually losing a couple of positions there because not that great amount of exit speed and now Peck is in the lead. Oh, Gwen is slowing down. Gwen slows down quite a bit. He is gone. And that means Spam can yoink right past him. Riolu is the next uh, target. Actually, is already been shot at. And um, is now being overtaken by Spam. Oh, nice amount of speed here by Spam. Into the... Oh my god, we have a mistake here. I'm not really catching who it was. Masa also really slow. And now Spam is actually looking better and better every turn. Going for some nice overtakes and he is in the green positions. Number 6 on the scoreboard for Alliance Spam. He is looking a lot better here. And lap number 2 out of 6 is now in a battle with Afi trying to defend his 6th position. As the gap between Tween, Carl Jr. and Orel is a little bit on the bigger side. Papu is now in the lead. Although, oh no, what a huge mistake by Pack. He is going for the wall bank. And Nadeo disapproves of any wall banks, especially that one. And he is punished for that for sure. Riolo is left in the dust after a little bit of an airtime mistake hit by him. Right there, Tween, what are you doing? You're going so far. Tween, can I get an F in the chat for Tween? He is dead, has to respawn. Carl Jr. also with a quite wonky line. And now it is Spam who is in top four. So far so good here for the Dutch player as he currently is uh, 2 out of 2 on the identity sections. And is now battling for the 4th position. Carl Jr. actually a little bit of a better tech section right there. Alfie is now trying to defend his bronze medal. And uh, Carl Jr. and Spam coming closer and closer. Papu looking good here in 1st place. Aurel is in 2nd place right now. Aurel actually, again, pretty good here in this uh, so throughout this step. And once again in this lap. And right now everybody seems to be around the same speed. Spam around 2, 320 exit speed. Which is uh, quite decent. Carl Jr. with a really good drift. You gotta give it to him there. What a nice drift here by the Canadian player. He's gonna go for the overtake on Afi. And now Spam actually on the dirt closing in a little bit here. Afi with a little bit more speed compared to Carl Jr. as well. And the battle is on for the bronze medal. Aurel and Papu are quite uh, comfortable here in their first and second place. But the bronze medal is actually quite a big battle. Afi slowing down quite a bit. Maybe this is the opportunity for Spam to go for the overtake. He does so indeed. Going for the inside line. Afi is left behind. Now Carl Jr. is the next target. And here we go into another identity section. The Oh, oh my god. Monka S, but it does look decent here. Yeah, Spam makes it once again. Looks good here. Papu actually is quite a bit uh, slowed down. And now Spam and Carl Jr. can come closer and closer. Aurel went for the overtake right now and is on the, uh, his way to 20 points. Papu so far with the best lap, but it is Aurel in first place. Carl Jr. in nice third place here. There's quite a bit of, bit of a gap here between Spam and Carl Jr. So Spam needs to push it if he wants the bronze medal. But hey, top four, not too bad at all. Let's see who is lurking in the shadows behind Spam. It is the big player Massa right now, who is in fifth position. Actually, after the mistake, I got, he uh, slowed down quite a bit on one of these blob sled sections. And once again, he is quite slow. So uh, he will lose quite a bit of time here. Once again, the gap between Afi and Spam right now is quite big. And the gap between Spam and... Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. Papu actually made a mistake on the wall right for a 0.1 second, you could see Papu make the mistake right there. Sorry, I didn't catch it completely. I was a little bit distracted, but Papu definitely is gone for first place. Carl Jr. is now in the lead. Aurel in second, but who is there in 
third place, second place, third place, second place, third place, second place. It is spam right now. Identity section coming in. Oh, spam needs to adjust here a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's gonna make it. He is gonna make it. Not the best amount of speed, though, but still. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Carl Jr. looking strong here on the first place. Aurel only two tenths behind, and then spam only four tenths behind. The gap between no, spam and pack already is. Uh, it's decent, it's decent, but it's it's not that comfortable. Ooh, Spank was so far to the right here, but luckily he does uh, survive it. And now let's go into another pop flat section here. Carl Jr. with an interesting line here. Orel is going for the overtake. Orel and Carl Jr. are in a nice battle here. Spam is lurking in the shadows though. He is not over yet for him. He might be able to go and push it. But so far so good here. Bronze medal for Spam. Not the most amount of speed here for him, but at least it is uh, a decent safe approach here. It does look as like Spam is uh, saving here a little bit. Once again, making sure that he doesn't uh, crash right there, as Papu did last lap. In the dirt section, though, he does come closer and closer. And this is a good section for Spam here, who comes a little bit closer to Aurel. And now Carl Jr., who is uh, extending his lead a little bit here. Not the best amount of speed out of this uh, drift section by Spam, so it's not really that close yet, but... Identity coming up. Oh, Carl and Aurel both going really far to the left. But both of them do make it. And Spam again making it as well. So, so far so good. We are in lap 6 out of 6. And Spam is on third place. His prediction is all out of the window right now. Because Spam uh, is doing way better than he predicted in the pre-match interview. Right now on the bronze medal. Who is right behind Spam? It is Pack. Let's see what he does. And let's see if he can come any closer to Spam here. Let's see what Pack does from his perspective. We are right now on the dirt section and we're coming closer and closer to the ice ball flat section. It does look like Pack has a little bit more speed than Spam here. So maybe he can come a little bit closer. No, it does look quite stable here. Spam actually extending his lead a little bit to Pack as it looks like. So the gap between him and Pack is quite big. Ooh, that was not that good for Pack here. Actually gets overtaken by Afi as you can see. Let's zoom in on Spam here a little bit. Who's uh, currently still in third place with about half a second uh, between him and Afi. As we are coming closer and closer to the last identity section. Aurel and Carl Jr. are in the lead. And it doesn't look like Spam is going to go for any overtakes here in the end. But instead is going to go for the defending of the third place. So let's see how that lo looks like. How is Spam defending himself for third place? He right now is still half a second ahead. Let's zoom in on Spam on the last identity section. Carl Jr. is going so far to the left. But he does make it. Aurel makes it as well. But oh my god, it is so close. Can I get a clap in the chat? Spam makes it. Top number three. Alliance victory. I'm calling it. Alliance victory. Spam doing way better than anybody could have guessed. Third place is incredible for him. So that was quite amazing. Carl Jr. once again popping off. Aurel doing really good as well. And some other good players here. Afi, Massa, Scrappy, Yannex. Let's see who the big point losses are. It is actually Bren. Who loses 15 points on this map. Papu. Who loses 11 points on this map. That's got to hurt a little bit here. But okay. At least they didn't lose all their points. Because you guys. That's going to go and happen right after the six minute break all right i think spam is ready for a nice little um well middle of the match interview let's say so let's go over to that uh right now Hello, hello. Third place on the fourth map. Who would have guessed? Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, that was pretty good. Definitely, dude. I, I mean, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by your fourth map. Sadly, though, on the third map, not as great. Can you go uh, a little bit yeah. into detail about what happened uh, in the map before this one? Yeah, that was pretty, uh, pretty unfortunate. I clipped the free wheel. And uh, yeah, I think I lost two and a half seconds in total. And if I didn't do that, I would have had my points. Because besides that, I mean, I drove slow, but I drove consistent. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. I don't know how many points I lost, actually. I think I had 17, so I lost... Yeah, eight. you had 17 points, that's correct. Yeah, so, Yeah. so I lost 8 points. I mean, it's, you know, it's not too bad. Luckily, I still have a lot of points, and I played good on hoverboard. Um, so I'm happy with that. 
Yeah, you know, it's a, a little bit of a mixed bag here so far, but uh, you're doing pretty well uh, for yourself so far. Let's see here on the scoreboard. You are currently on 26 points in the top six of the step so far. Yeah, exactly. I was a bit of, uh, man, on the first map, wait, half pipe? Yeah, half pipe was first map. I was feeling so good and I made one respawn. That was pretty shitty. Yeah, that the was, uh, yeah, you were doing really well in, until that respawn, yeah. but. I had really good pace. I think I could have won the map. Same with Switch Bridge, actually. I was doing so good. And then I made uh, a similar mistake in the in the dirt turn, which lost me about one and a half seconds as yeah, well. Yeah, for, for like 0 0.01 seconds there, I thought you were going to be first because at the same time you did your mistake, Tween did an even bigger mistake exactly the same way. He also took too much speed and went right into the wall right there. Oh, wow. So yeah. if you would be able to save that for in some way, you would have definitely been first at that point in time. But hey, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Nothing you can do right there. At but... least, yeah. I was in first once, so you saw me on the scoreboard, right? In the stadium. Yeah, I, I mean, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. You, you were That's uh, what I for went like for. five seconds, but hey, you know, you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went full risk, full risk to get my face on there, just for the for the content. Yeah, spam W. Yeah, <laughs> that was exactly it. But yeah, now these two maps, oof. I don't know, man. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but hey, it's good nervous. Good, good nerves. nerves, yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, before we man. go into the in those two maps, I quickly want to get your opinion about Carl Jr., who is on, <laughs> on 74 points right now. I mean, what? Yeah, he's doing an insane job right now. I I mean, I hope he can keep his points. And if not, that is going to be an up upset. Oh, yeah, that's going to be some uh, angry people on Twitter for sure, if uh, Carl is going to lose his points here. Yep. As well as uh, Aurel, by the way, who is currently on 43 points in second place, doing really well uh, in this step. So it's nice to see... Uh, some variation here. For example, Papu who is currently on 17 points, losing uh, half his points uh, last map. So yeah. I think th so many people have been doing a two map strat, I think this week. Hence why Carl has such a big amount of points right now. Like I'm expecting to be the, the level to be extremely high on these two maps and it's going to be so crazy. I'm a bit scared, but uh, hey, that's part of the game, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is the format, and uh, for spectators, we will have some exciting gameplay to watch at least, even though it's an emo it's such an emotional uh, roller coaster that's coming up in the next two maps. Yeah, I honestly hope I just get top eight. I don't care about winning, honestly. Like, these points that I'm gonna bag here, if I just get top eight on both of these maps, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, I mean, you're already at 26, two top eights, yeah. that's gonna give you another couple of points. That's just, that, that's definitely 100 points on the uh, total rank. Exactly. Which is really That's good. what I'm aiming for right now. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you to it because you have like one and a half minutes to warm up. Uh, good luck. Yep. Thank you very and, much. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you with a nice amount of points after this. Yes. We're going right. for it. Zoop. All right, you guys. That was Spam. You might know him from this channel. I make this joke every time. I'm very original. Um, so, yeah. This is what the scoreboard looks right, uh, like right now. And uh, as we've already mentioned, Carl Jr. doing really well. Let's look at the total league ranking. Carl Jr. has actually moved up into second place in total. Of course, the of course the points are not locked in yet. In the last two maps, if you do not get top eight, say bye bye to your points. They're all gone. So not only fifty percent like we had in the last two maps. They're all gonna be gone. So the pressure is gonna be on right now, and the players know which maps are the. Excuse me, other last two. And that means that uh, they have come prepared for these two because uh, you do not want to lose your points. So everybody will have no life these up to coming maps. Two upcoming maps. There we go. Alright, in about 15 seconds, let's say, we are gonna start and we have to take a look, if you were here at the pre-show, uh, on this identity already, where you do a, let's say, a 270 degree turn, thank you Muda, and um, you wanna keep as much speed as possible out of it, that's why people will go into this uh, interesting line here, and with that speed, you will be able to go for the overtakes on the people who don't get as much speed there.
Alright, the warm up is about to end. Can I get some ghost spams in the chat as we are moving up into map number 5 out of 6. The pressure is on because we are going to go into the maps where we are losing 100% of the points. The warm up is over. Final phase is starting. Map Paradise XD has been started and we are going to go spectate spam and not scrappy into this. Right here we go. Spam in the green already. Decent start here. Matt actually in first place. Looking good for Matt here so far. Alright, here we go. Matt once again in first place. We can see his beautiful, beautiful face here on the side of the screen. And now Gwen has went going for the overtake. 11th position for Spam right now. With uh, struggling a little bit. Oh, but Matt is already goner from the first position. Uh, and we will see him on the bot bottom of the scoreboard. Between right now in the lead. Pack is looking good as well. Afi, Gwen, Yanex, Violu, Evan, Aurel, Carl Jr. and Papu are all looking good because they're all ahead of Spam right now. Actually, some uh, some of these players are already being overtaken by Spam. And here we go into a nice looping with the reactor boost. And now we are getting closer and closer to the identity. We are seeing some people going left side, interestingly enough. That must be an uh, interesting risky line. Uh, which has been paying off because I'm pretty sure Gwen was one of the people who went for that. Ooh, but now Spam is overtaking Gwen again. So maybe it's not paying off at all. Spam right now actually in fifth position. But here we go into the first identity section. Alright. Stable. No points, uh, no positions lost and no positions gained. Fair enough. And another decent uh, identity here but not the best. Pack with a worse one though. So maybe Spam can go for the overtake on Pack once again. But it is... It is close indeed. Spam has a decent pace here for this map. He needs to get top 8 at least. The Seeker player Avon, who Spam has already alluded to in the pre-match interview as one of the players who might be able to show off this, uh, this step, is now in first place. We have Tween, the player who has, I'm pretty sure, the world record on this one. Maybe it was Kappa and Tween was on the other one. But I'm pretty sure Tween had the world record on this one on the 6 lapper. And he's now in second place. Afi looking good as well. Papu looking good as well. Masa is in the mix as well. And now we have Spam in the top 6. Right, another tech section coming in. And Spam is trying to catch up to the other players. The gap between him and first place, who is currently Avon, is about 0.8 of a second. As we are moving into another reactive boost looper. <laughs> Looping, there we go. Avon is looking stronger and stronger here. Afi going for the inside line. Let's see if it actually pays off or it is actually slower. Afi actually, not too bad, but uh, not too fast either. And now Pack actually has pressed B to boost and is so incredibly fast. Going for the overtake on spam already and now we're going into the identity section. Afi actually have a... Afi has a very different line here than the other players. Pack, hello? Pack, where are you? Pack went too far to the left, you guys. Pack is gone and uh, he has to go for the respawn. Avon with the mistake, you guys. Avon with a huge mistake. And spam is wrecking in... R raking in the positions right now and uh, I mean yeah he's taking advantage of these mistakes I mean if he has this pace and p other people are making mistakes he will get top 8 for sure right now on a pretty safe top 5 and the difference between him and the first place is only 0.6 of a second right now it is the French player Papu who is currently number 1 on the standings in total and is looking to get another nice 20 pointer for himself right now Tween and Massa are also looking really good as they are currently top 3 with themselves Afi is the number four and now spam is is already in the top five the gap between spam and gwen is quite big here so spam is quite solid in that fifth position he just needs to keep up what he's doing right now if he keeps can keep on doing what he's doing he's gonna do well for sure here as we are currently on lap three out of six on this map All right, here we go. Afi going for the inside line. Once again, is it paying off or not? It seems like it's about equal as Afi is a little bit slower here. Masa going for the outside line. That's going to cost him some little bit of time. But uh, it is not enough. I feel like Afi is losing speed with the inside line. I gotta be honest. As Spam is now closing in on Afi once again. All right, with another line here by Afi. He's just doing his own thing right now on this map. Oh, actually with a really good identity for Afi here. He is overtaking or at least closing in on Tween and Masa. Oh, Masa with a really weak second identity. And now Spam is closing in, in and actually going for the overtake. Spam right now in fourth position. Tween as well Clo is uh, not that far behind. Or ahead of Spam, actually. Let's be, uh, let's be clear here. 
Spam is in a nice fourth position right now. It's where you like to see him as he is going for the top eight strat in this map. Who is currently not in top eight though is Carl Jr. Who is falling behind on ninth place. And now back struggling a little bit as you can see. He's only 0.3 behind here uh, Carl Jr. But 74 points are at risk. Not what you want to see here if you are a fan of Carl Jr. But we of course are fans of Spam right now. Who currently is about 0.8 behind Papu. Afi as well is so so close. The battle for first is incredibly close here between Afi and Papu. Tween right now in a solid third place. Spam right now in solid fourth place. As Gwen is closing in on Spam here. Alright, let's see it from Spam, uh, Gwen's perspective. Is Spam going for the overtake or did Gwen just fucking... Well, uh, F-bomb here, but did <laughs> Gwen just go for the overtake? I'm sorry. Here we go. Don't... don't. You, nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Spam going into the identity section. Top 6 here. Oh, Tween with the mistake. Tween with the mistake. Massa actually went for the overtake here on Spam. And now Papu with the huge mistake. And Spam is back into top four. Even though he did get overtaken by both Gwen and Massa. Who are doing really well for themselves. And Gwen actually with the... What? He took some airtime or something. He loses so much speed. And, and now Spam is on the bronze medal. Why? Because he doesn't make any mistakes, you guys. Spam consistently in real life. He is consistently doing a good job here actually going for the overtake on massa now although that is not set in stone yet as he currently is still in a battle for second place afi is looking so so strong here a second ahead of massa and spam here who currently still battling for second place and now spam seems to have a little bit of an edge here oh but a really good tech drift by massa here back into second place the battle is on spam right now still on the dirt section, not able to go for the overtake yet. Into the reactor boost we go. Is Spam going for the overtake this time around? No, it's not going to be happening here. Although, maybe a little bit here. Yes, it does indeed go for the overtake. Oh, no. It's, I mean, is he or is he not, you guys? I keep saying the word overtake, but it's uh, it's what is happening right now. Spam is now in third place. Masa is solidifying his second position. Here comes Tween, though. What is this speed? What a great text section by Tween here. Who get, goes for the overtake on Spam and is now actually looking to overtake Masa. They're gone! They're gone from the screen. Spam, what an incredible uh, first identity. Wait, Gwen is not even going for the one. Ah, the 270 spam. What are you doing? You're so slow. He is so slow, but he is okay, I guess, because he is still in top eight. The gap is getting bigger and bigger as Gwen is now in second place. Massa is in third. Spam is in fourth. The difference now between him and Afi is already three seconds. But who cares? Because between him and Carl Jr. is another two seconds. And that is what it is all about, you guys. Top eight is where you want to be. Afi looking good here. Not only 28 points on the scoreboard, he also is in first place looking for another 20 pointer. Now Spam is coming closer to the German player here. Massa is in third. Spam is in fourth. Spam going closer and closer. Tech slide coming in. Is it enough? No. Massa actually defending his third place quite well here. Maybe the approach here by Spam is better. He does take a little bit more speed on the dirt section. Spam coming closer and closer to the big player. But it is not enough yet. The reactive boost coming in. Who is behind Spam right now? It is Bran. Bran already about 0.8 seconds behind Spam. So the difference quite there is quite big there. So it's all about this upcoming rear um oh here we go here we go spam is way more speed in the section he's saying bye bye to the german player and now locks in third place on yes yes i'm saying it lap six out of six last identity coming up spam is taking it safely it seems as massa no wait hello gwen is gone gwen is gone spam is going for the overtake on gwen just by accident but Pooh snipes second place, but you know what? Who cares? Stan locks in third place. I'm doing it. Alliance victory once again. Spam is doing so, so well in this step once again. He is in third place. And, I mean, he keeps locking in the bronze medals. Keeps locking in the bronze medals. And that is good. Very good. Because you lock in some nice amount of points here. Spam with another 12 points. Upping his 26. Let's look at the big point losses. It is Aurel. Oh, you guys. Aurel losing 43 points. It is Scrappy losing 27. It is Kappa who is 9th and loses 30 points. You guys. Whew. Yikes. Carl Jr. was able to get back into top 8. So good job by him. Not losing 
80 points or something. Whew, that would have been crazy. The step is not over yet. You guys, I... You have no idea how, how, how incredibly nervous Spam looks. Let's do a quick, a quick look at him. Oof. Oh. You guys seeing the nervousness? Woo. Warm up on the final map. Cyclone by Firestorm. It is all or nothing right now. Spam currently is third on the step with 38 points. A nice amount of points for him. If he gets another top 8 here, this is going to be a successful step for sure. Yeah, I mean, Carl Jr. is is on another level right now. But what it is, what is important is what you do for yourself here. You gotta look at your own performance. And Spam has a nice performance so far. 38 points third place on the scoreboard so far. And he is looking to get another top 8. Lock in the points and get to the next step. Right, the last map here. Which is gonna be risky as riskiness can be. Because you have this first ice section. But you need as much speed as possible. And you have the Cyclone itself. Spam not the best ice section here at all. As uh, we are moving throughout it. Trappy not the best one either. You can get so much speed out of this one guys. So it's going to be really really important. And now we're closing in on the identity itself. Which is another ice section. I would call it a toilet. Where you get flushed down in. And uh, yeah. Let's see here coming up. Zoop. Interesting line here by Bran. Actually taking it a little bit differently. But seems like it's about the same speed. And now we are going to go into the live round. Zero seconds to go. Cyclone. And the warm up. Final phase is starting. We are on map 6 out of 6. Be in the top 8. It says right on your screen. And that is because if you are top 8... You don't lose all your points. And that is going to be the goal of Alliance Spam from the Netherlands right now. As he is moving in on lap 1 out of 6 on the map Cyclone. Yannex looking good at the start here. He is in first place. Scrappy. Oh, who died? Who died? It was Matt, I think. I think Matt just died. Yeah. Matt is already dead. Matt makes a huge mistake at the start here. And he's going to be behind 8 seconds already with the respawn. That is a feels bad. That is a feels mad, man. But uh, Tween right now in the lead. He is looking good. Spam right now on 11th position. Not with the stronger start. But he is not that far behind top 8. This is not the best line, though. I gotta be honest. This is not the, what you want to see right now. Decent exit speed, though. So he catches up a little bit. Especially to Kappa and Riolo. But not top 8 for him in lap number 1. Pack makes the mistake. Pack is gone, you guys. He makes a huge mistake. And that means Spam is able to go for the overtake on him at least. And now Aurel is the next target. Aurel, who lost, just lost all of his points, must be at least a little bit tilted here. So maybe a good target for Spam to go for the overtake. Into the Cyclone we go. He has to adjust his line a little bit. Not the most amount of extra speed is coming in for Spam here, I think. No, it is not the case indeed. And now Riolo went for the overtake again. Spam going for the release and then he goes into the dirt section. Spam has a nice dirt section for himself here. And going for the overtake on Riolo and Aurel. He does so indeed. And now he's in ninth position. But the gap is between him and the rest is quite big here. So he needs to start pushing it. Spam right now is in the red. But only one person left for him to get back into the green positions. Another dirt hill. Here we go. Massa right now in first place. Tween is looking good as well. Yannick and Papu also in a strong position. Massa right now on the scoreboard on the left. Orel. Oh, everybody is looking so good here. Actually going for the overtakes on Spam. Spam needs a good ice section. Is he gonna go for it? I gotta be honest, you guys. This is not looking good. Kappa and Riolo both making mistakes. But who, it does not really matter because Spam needs to start pushing it. And this is not what I call pushing it, you guys. Top 10 for... Uh, 11 for Spam right now. Massa made a mistake. Massa from the Germany... From the Germany, from Germany, is now actually looking quite vulnerable. He is in top ten, and Spam is in top eleven. Spam needs to start pushing it. It's only left two, so it might be possible that he catches back up. But he needs some good ice slides. He needs some really good ice slides, actually. Good identity section by Spam, though. He does go for the overtake on Massa, and he does go for the overtake on Bran. And now it is Scrappy left. Ian Scrappy is the only one left to get back into the green, you guys. 
only one so it is not that he is not looking that grim it is still definitely possible to get back into the green positions as Masa is actually also desperately trying to hold on to his 27 points this is the real story of this step right now it is spam it is Masa. it is scrappy who can hold on to his points it's Carl jr by the way who is in seventh place not safe at all with his 81 points so let's see what's going to happen here in the next ice section Ooh, spam is not that fast once again and he's gonna lose so many positions once again this is looking pretty grim you guys i am sweating a little bit here spam really needs to step it up because otherwise this is gonna be over and out here is now already 1.6 second behind the number eight oof it is only left three out of six though it is not over yet but he needs to start pushing it riolo and pack are currently ahead of him Right behind him is Avon. Right behind him is Kappa and Matt, who are currently already, because of mistakes, far, far behind. And it is spam, not with the mistakes, but just he does not have the pace, you guys, compared to the other players, who are all seems to be six laps there at uh, map threading, because, uh, or two map threading, because they are. The, the, the level is just insane right now. It is not enough for spam to, to go for the safe strats. And hopefully he realizes that and is gonna go and put on the, the risky pants going for the overtakes. He is 1.5 seconds ahead, uh, behind. He does get closer and closer if he's not on the ice. But on the ice is where he loses some points. Let's see what he does here in this ice slide. No, you guys, it is not what you like to see. He's again not that fast. Spam is not looking good here. And uh, he is now 2.6 sec. I cannot... Guys, I cannot cast this together. I need Spam to do well. Because otherwise... Uh, I mean, what am I doing here? He is 2.5 seconds behind. Sp and... Um, just a couple of mistakes is not going to be enough. Oh, but he makes a mistake himself. He went into the wall. He's going to be so slow, you guys. He's going to be quite slow. And he... I'm not sure how this is gonna work. <laughs> he has two laps left. He's three seconds behind. He needs some gods here laps right now. Hopefully Spam can go for the insane push here. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. I do not know. He's 3.3 seconds behind. He's closing in a little bit because he was 3.5 seconds behind. But the dirt is coming in. Avon is ahead of him. Spam the 38 points is quite far behind. But uh, here comes the ice. And now Spam needs to pop it, you guys. Going higher. This looks better. This looks really good. Spam going for the risky line. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. The hope is back. This was a pretty good ice section. And now he's only 2.3 seconds behind. It is not over yet, you guys. It is not over yet. The hype is here. The hype is here. Two seconds. Two seconds behind. He is currently on 13th place, but if he gets another ice drift like that, it might happen. It is not over yet. Cyclone coming in. He needs another good identity section. Let's go, Spam. Go, 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 go. He needs to start pushing it. It is 1.8 seconds, you guys. 1.8 seconds as we're entering the last lap. Spam, 1.6 seconds. 1.5 seconds. Oh, dear, you guys. Spam is pressing B to boost right now. He has nothing to lose. And he knows it. He is full on risking. And he is taking it to the extreme. 1.5 seconds. It's the only thing that's between him and keeping the 38 points. Let's see what he can do in the ice. Oh, you guys. Let's press B. Let's press B. Here we go. Going high up once again. This looks pretty good. Ice Drift coming in. This looks like a decent line. Although he gets the snow and now it's over. It's over. You gotta give it to him. Spam tried. It's, you have to go for the mega risk there. And it did not pay off. But there is... He had to go for it. He had to go for it. This was the right decision. But sadly... It was not... He was not able to pull off the mega risk. And now we're gonna see some point loss here. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Tween wins the map. Carl Jr. is able to hold on to his points. And Papu is losing 33 points in the end as well. So also a, quite a Yikers for Papu there. Bran also quite a Yikers. Yeah. It is what it is. A Satch in the chat. 
He had to go for the full risk. And this is what happens if you go for the full risk. You cannot do full risk six times because you will, gener you will definitely crash at least once. So you have to have some sort of consistent strat. The consistent strat was not enough. So you had to go for the full risk. It's sadly though, he was not able to pull it off. And now we are here on three points at the end of the step. Yeah. And here we go, league ranking. Carl Jr. takes over the lead with 115 points, you guys. Carl Jr. is back at it. The number one player is in the number one position again. Papu still is looking good here. Pack still looking good here. We have the Tech Giants in the top three once again. Massa actually, with a nice 90 points. Spam is still in top six. Spam is still top six with 73. <laughs> 73. Um, but uh, he's still on 73 points. Let's go and see what Spam's reaction is. It's probably not going to be a really good one, but yeah, let's uh, talk to him anyway. Hey, Spam. Yeah, I mean, yikes. <sighs> yeah, sometimes it do be like that. It do be like that. Yeah, that's pretty shit. Yeah, so what it looked like from uh, our perspective here was that the, the pace for you wasn't really there. You were in the red and then you had to go for the full on risk, which did happen to uh, pay off in lap five, which made yeah. us hope for it again because you gained like one and a half second on position eight. But yeah, lap six, it wasn't in yeah, the cards. Yeah, I don't know. 7.35 is, I don't even know what I finished. It was 3x something. That's just terrible. I think that's my worst six lapper I've done in the past four days. It's actually horrendous. Yeah, I uh, I mean your ice slides they were not on point. I gotta be honest. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they weren't good. They were just not there. I don't know what happened. I, I actually have no idea. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it just. How many points did I get? I I I <laughs> alt alt four after. I think uh, you got uh, three points in total now. Ah, fantastic. You lost thirty eight. Yeah. Yeah, what uh, I mean, what can I do? Maps were, uh, you know, that last one that that's just not. Uh, I mean, from the get go, that map wasn't already in my favor anyway. So it was uh, it's just shitty that it that I lose a lot of points again like this. Yeah, what can I say except for it is the format, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it is a yeah. shitty excuse, but yeah, this is uh, part of it, I guess. All right, 